Hello there, welcome to the Airgun Gear Show vlog. This is the smaller channel as compared to the bigger channel, which is, I'll put a link up there or down there, which is where you get all the main reviews. Basically on here, you get all the rough cut stuff. You get things where I unbox things, show you what I've got, show you what's received, and occasionally do rougher testing that you might get to see. Anyway, there we go. This, I think, has come from JSB, and I know it's come from JSB because it's come from the Czech Republic, and I don't know anyone else in the Czech Republic. Um, and the background to this parcel is that I saw them at IWA a few weeks ago, and I said to them that I was having some difficulty getting two to redesigns, and they said, give us your name and address, and we'll see what we can do for you. So I have no idea what's in here. To be honest with you, it could be a box of sweets and chocolate. I literally haven't opened it yet. I've waited till I can start videoing. Now, I don't normally get pallets sent to me. Uh, I normally buy my pallets from some place called Voimer. Voyeur? Voim, Voim? I'll put a link on the screen so you can see. Voyeur sounds something completely wrong in this day and age, doesn't it? But anyway, I normally get my pallets from there. Every couple of months, I place an order for a couple of hundred pounds. True manufacturers do sometimes send me tins of pallets when they send me rifles to test. That's lovely. But as you know, once you've shot them, they're done, aren't they? You can't exactly pick them up and recycle them. So pellets for me are a big expense. And the good thing is, is that if I've been given some pellets to try, fantastic. That means I've got a little bit of cash in my pocket, which means I can go and buy some more guns to make reviews for you guys. So it's kind of all goody swings and roundabouts. But I'll shut up talking now, shall I? And let's just go ahead and open this up. Um, yeah. Don't really know where to start, to be honest. So let's just cut in a little bit. Let's see what we've got. So, thank you very much, JSB, for sending me this. I don't know what's in here. Could be anything in here. There could be anything that's going to pop out. I haven't got a clue. I know it's well wrapped. Look at that. Let's have a look. Eek. Eek. <laughs> Ah. Wow. Lots of bubble wrap. If you're a bubble wrap person and you want to sit there and pop the bubbles, then you'd be in heaven with the, what I've got here. Okay. It just goes on and on, doesn't it? So that fits over there. There's one. There's the other. It's like those, you know, you buy those things when you buy things, and it's like the, the plastic packaging is actually harder to get into. You know, I always think to myself, you know, it's like if you buy a pen knife, for example, in this day and age, sometimes it comes in that really good, sturdy wrapping stuff, and it's like vacuum packed and rock hard plastic. And you think to yourself, now if you went on a survival weekend, right? and you went out with your new pen knife and you didn't unwrap it before you left, you could be stuck on the heel side and you couldn't actually get into the pen knife because you've got nothing to open the pen knife with. Do you sort of see where I'm going with that? Yeah? No? Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. So you'd be sat staring at a pen knife in a plastic wrapper that you can't get out to help you survive. Like, it's just a thought. It's just a wild and wacky thought that goes on inside my head. Right, there's one. Look at that. I'd say they weigh a good couple of kilos, these. So let's go ahead and open it. Now, of course, JSB are really well known for their pallets. You know, they just work, as far as I'm concerned. They are some of the, the best made pallets in the world. Um, look at these. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right, what have we got in here? Look at this. Oh, right, wow. Polymags, 2.5, 150 pieces. Oh, they're all individually wrapped. Polymag, wow. Polymag, 30 calibre. 
100 pieces. Look, let me show this up for you. Look, don't want to drop them. Can you see that? Ooh, nearly dropped one. Look at those. Look at those, see? Look, they're all individually wrapped, which means I'm going to be here a while. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through and unwrap heavies 22, 18.3s. Now, look at these. So what I'm after, uh, redesigns. There they are. These are what I'm at. Now, look, I know you'll think I'm bonkers. Look at that. They're the big tins with the little labels on. Isn't that cute? Look, big tin, little label. Now, what I've been after is these 2-2 redesigns. Um, and in the UK, they're basically as rare as unicorn poo, let's be honest. A um, couple of places will have a few tins and then they're gone. So anyone in the UK, let me tell you that people want these but you just, you just can't get them. Look at that. Oh, look how they've been packaged. Oh, isn't that good? So they've been sort of double packed inside the tin. And these 2-2 redesigns are, you know, they're not quite slugs, if that makes any sense, but they're kind of slug-like. And when people are shooting them at sort of 900 feet per second, they're getting really incredible results with them. But obviously... You know, I haven't really been able to try that too much while I'm here because I can't get the pellets. So there we go. So that's lovely because there, there's a tin of 2-2 redesigns. Let's go through what else we've got here. Heavy 18s. These another. So we've got redesigns. Oh, redesigns. 2-2-18s. Polymags. 18s. <laughs> 30s. 30s, 50 grains, look at those. Those would be em emperors, I'm guessing, something like that. Well, there you go, there's a tin of those there anyway. So then we've got, uh, yeah, 2 2 18, so redesigns. I'm sure I just saw another tin of redesigns. 18s, 18s, 22s. Let's see what's in this one. So I've got three tins of redesigns so far. Let's see what we've got. There we go. Let's see what we've got here. More bubble wrap. Lovely. So what have we got? Uh, 30s. 30s. Twenty-two eighteens. Oh, ha ha ha! Ah, look at that! Oh, there's some of the new Hades. Look, see those? Those are the ones that everyone's talking about. The new Hades. That's interesting. That's my haul from JSB. I like that. Thank you very much, JSB. Very much appreciated. I shall thoroughly enjoy those and I shall use them for lots of testing. If anyone knows where I can get a reliable source of these in the UK, I would be really, really interested. I've got, I reckon, about 600 pallets there in those 2-2 uh, redesigns, uh, but I need some more. So anyone in the UK, if you've got those, please uh, put a, a, a comment in the box below because I'd love to know where I can buy some more of those, but those will get me started. But no, that's fantastic. So I've got, wow, yeah, I've got some 30s. I've got some, yeah, I've got 30 polymags. Never seen 30 polymags before, but uh, that's because I'm in the UK and we can't get stuff here. So 30s, 50.15s, 30s, 44.75s, 30 polymags, 44.75s, uh, 25 polymags, 26 grain, then we've got uh, 22 heavies, the, the super heavy ones, 33.9s. The new Hades, 15.89. Uh, I already know they're good because I've actually been filming something already. Um, 
I have 110, which I was getting low on, uh, but I already know they're good. There's a video coming on that in a minute. And uh, then I've got my redesigns, 25.39s in 22s, and then I got loads of 2218.13s. So fantastic, JSB, thank you ever so much. Uh, that really helps me out. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. And that's it. There we go. So if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It's not overly exciting. I know me unwrapping a box of some pellets, but for me, it makes a big difference because it really helps support uh, what I do. And I'm very appreciative of that. So thank you very much. But if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Please press the subscribe button. There is some more stuff coming, I'll tell you. Um, but there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.